Russia creates a new army for the war against Ukraine. The situation in Kharkiv will be more tense. Russia could form another combined arms army to deploy on the front line in Ukraine. The Russian military is undergoing major reforms, including the creation of new army-level combined arms units, according to a new report from the Institute for the Study of War, ISW. The Ukrainian sources claims about the 51st Army are early indicators that Russia has formed another combined arms army for deployment in Ukraine. Speaker of the Operational Tactical Group of Troops Kharkiv, Yuri Povk, said that the Russian military intends to transfer units of the 9th Motorized Rifle Brigade of the 51st Army to the Kharkov direction. According to him, Russian troops transferred Russian units from the Kherson region and from other directions to the Kharkiv direction. The representative of the Operational Strategic Group of Troops, Kortitsia, Lieutenant Colonel Nazar Volashin, said that Russian troops intend to transfer units of the 155th Marine Brigade of the Pacific Fleet and the 9th Motorized Rifle Brigade of the 51st Army to the Kharkov direction to compensate for losses. As the ISW notes, analysts recently received information that the occupiers transferred units of the 155th Marine Brigade and the 9th Motorized Rifle Brigade from the west and southwest of Donetsk to the Kharkov direction. No reports of the 51st Army were recorded. The ISW notes that the Russian military may have subordinated the 9th Motorized Rifle Brigade to the revived, possibly World War II-era 51st Army. Russians began to actively advance in the Kharkov region in early May and were able to capture several settlements near the border. At the beginning of June, the speaker of the Operational Strategic Group of Troops, Kortitsia, Nazar Volashin, said that our fighters control about 70% of Volchansk. Later, it was reported that the enemies in the city were trapped. They were surrounded on the territory of the aggregate plant. According to Deep State co-founder Roman Pogorili, it is not known exactly how many occupiers fell into the trap. Russian Defense Ministry claimed that Ukraine had launched an attack against Sevastopol, a city in Russian-occupied Crimea, with five US-made long-range Atakms missiles. Four missiles were allegedly shot down by Russian air defense, while the warhead of the fifth one exploded above the city, the Russian Defense Ministry claimed. Mikhail Razvoziev, the head of the Russian occupation government of Sevastopol, claimed that five people were killed, and almost 100 were injured in the attack. Later, the Russian security forces announced that the Atakms missiles had been launched from the city of Nikolaev, Ukraine, and announced that measures had been taken to destroy the firing point. The Ukrainian side announced that the Panzer S-1 missile used by Russia to launch the missile exploded on the beach area. Ukrainian military analyst Alexander Kovalenko said Panzer S was not designed to fight such targets. According to him, the missiles fired by Ukraine did not have cassettes, but the missile that Russia wanted to shoot at them was loaded with cassettes. The Russian Ministry of Defense declared that the United States was responsible for the strike. The ministry claims that all flight missions for Atakms operational tactical missiles are entered by American experts based on the U.S.'s own satellite intelligence. Earlier, Russian telegram channels posted photos and videos of the alleged attack, reporting that many people were injured on the beach of Uchkwevka, a village in the northern part of Sevastopol. Ukraine's military reported on a number of attacks against the peninsula in recent weeks, allegedly scoring successful hits against Russian S-300 and S-400 air defense systems. Ukrainian forces reportedly destroyed two radars of S-300 and S-400 air defense systems near the Belbek military airfield and Sevastopol overnight on June 12. On June 10, Kiev also claimed a successful hit against S-400 and S-300 anti-aircraft missile systems in several areas in occupied Crimea.